You know that feeling you get when you know summer is over and you realize that all of your PS4 collector's editions and limited editions could add up to buying not one, not two, but three PS4s? First? And not even like the regular Slims, like like PS4 Pros. And that's just in market value. Yeah. Um, that's a weird way to get into this introduction, but... You know, sometimes you just have to be very unconventional about what videos do you plan to do an unboxing for. This is one of those videos. So let's fade into the intro and actually start this shit. Hey guys, Camino's here with another PS4 based unboxing video Fucking shit, I still don't have a PS4 original slim pro golden gray uh, Star Wars uh, God of War. I don't have any of that shit. I don't. Okay? Will this be the last PS4 unboxing? I. It depends if I really want to pre order Monster Hunter Worlds. That, that I think that will be the turning point where I'll be like. Shit, I really should get, I really, I really should save up for a PS4 so I can play all my PS4 games on here. Here. Why, why am I being so random in this particular video? Because, because to poorly segue into Sagrin Kagura, Peach Be Splash, no shirt, no shoes, all service edition. Yeah, um... This is usually the part where I go into the backstory of Shenron Kagura, but there is, to be honest, there actually is a lack of history to it. I mean, I bought the first Shenron Kagura, uh, Burst, Burst on the 3DS, I played it for a while. Uh, at the time I didn't care too much about the story, even though the story seemed intriguing, but I was like, can I just get to the gameplay where I just beat the shit out of, of, uh, of dummies and other girls and... Girls and 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 try my very best not to go through the to the character gallery in in in, in 3D form, or, but but it wasn't until like when Essentials came out, Jules Versus, uh, which came out on the PS4 and then later on the later on uh, PC, where I'm like, oh shit, there actually is a continuing storyline going on, and and then all of a sudden there was news about how they were going to uh, do a remake. Of uh, Kagura Burst, Burst, but making the same style as the Central Versus, and I'm like, well, shit. Um, I I don't know what to say on that. Um, a part of me kind of wishes it didn't go down to it. I've I like the the beat up the slice one beat up style. wasn't I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the of the Dynasty Wars uh, Samurai War S thing that goes on other franchises that are not Dynasty Wars or Samurai Warriors unless they're from by Napco Koei but that's that's just a personal thing of mine uh so uh so with all that said when I heard about Plastic Beach Splash and how it's based it's almost like the the sexy edition of Splatoon only <laughs> or at least it seemed like the, the sexy version of Splatoon, which Splatoon of itself is is sexy the same way a kid will find something sexy, so that just got weird. Weird, but yeah. Th yeah, but once I heard about about Peach Me Splash, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta have it. Out of, out of all the spin-off Zona Shinra Kagura games I could get, uh, it was between the cooking one and this one, and I chose this one, because it's there's war guns in it. Fucking love war guns. What? That's all you need to know. That's the backstory as to why I have this collector's edition. I fucking love war guns. Sorry, I was, I was talking to, um, myself. Anyway, right as we go through the back here, the start no shoes all service, which contains an art book, book, music CD, Blu-ray compilation of opening animations from previous games, and a bonus DLC content that you can't get anywhere else, and all this other stuff. And what's the download content, you ask? Well, you got the soaking wet high school uniform costume. 
10. The Funamaki World Bazooka Special Weapon Set of Colorful Bikini Costumes. Ooh, jeez. Jeez. Special Set of Skill Cards, which will be very helpful in to make sure that your team is up and at them and all that. And, of course, the Bobby Pet Card. Right. Or, yeah, shoot him up, soak him up. Yep, and Sergeant Crusades enters the Wet and Wild New Arena. Let the busty water gun battle begin, baby. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, it's one player, but you can add two to ten players on network play. This game is about any future, fancy virus, personal nudity, sexual themes, and strong language. Yep, this is the this is the mature, sexy platoon. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm gonna run this fucking joke to the ground, even if it kills my writers. Well, writer. Er. Er? Writer? Writer? Illustrator. Psh. Sorry. But yeah, let's actually go into the box itself. Let's actually this shit out. Well, as you see, go into the hard book box. Back way. Back and we got ourselves the uh, Peach Splash Art Book 2017 edition. Edition. So, go in there, get in there, check out some of the things, check out all these. These characters, and there's either in bikinis or wet t-shirt contests. You know how we do. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then after that, go inside. Now we got the opening soundtrack, opening animations coming in this neat little pack right here. Here with, uh, 47 tracks. Tracks, and then, like, yeah, 47 tracks. That's that's almost like a full original soundtrack right there. That's like two discs worth, two free discs worth. Sort of, uh, is this all the songs on there? I'm I'm hoping so. If it is, that would be amazing. Let's see, and then what else but the game inside? Side, we we the current peach be splash yo yo. Move out of the way. Yeah, just, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm making this weird. So as we take a look inside the original soundtrack and open animation section, as you can see, see the original soundtrack. Gotta say, this is the best looking CD I've ever gotten. I did say one, not the. I said one of the. Let's let's make that distinction clear here. Here. I see you preview 73, you reading your extinguished thing, which was pretty cool in its own right. And I see you Kogillas with your Gorillas, at least when it came to freaking the uh, uh never mind. And then the opening animations from 2011 to 2017, which means it would probably cover Burst, Essentials versus Essential uh, Cook versus uh, Burst 2, um, the, the series that I, I really should check out. Why haven't I checked that series out yet? That, uh, that Love Live has taken over my anime wa viewing thing, but that's another story altogether. Yeah, but, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. But of course, if we go behind the discs themselves, ow, 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 okay, hang on, you just... Just stare, stare at some cleavage. Or lack of, lack thereof. Of, no, I'll, 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 I'll. I'll cut to after I take it. Okay. This is what's behind them. them. They're both staring at you. Not rock. In festival. Ha ha. That, that's the big reveal. That's why I had to do a jump cut to this. That's why. Yeah, boy. As a staple for any unboxing video, especially if you've gone through the playlist of unboxing videos, which you'll see at the end of this video, if you actually see the end of this video, you know, which will have bloopers and outtakes and all that jazz. Jazz. As we actually go inside, <sighs> right? Because I usually do this, unless there isn't a case, which usually there is. This, and we go here, and we got the disc here, and we have. Wait a minute. What's this? Is is this what I think it is? Is oh my gosh! It's an instruction manual. I fucking love this. I fucking love this collection edition of boxing. I, 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 
I fucking love this. I love having a physical instruction book. Like you, but over over the past couple of years, you know, some of the games I've I've gotten for these collector's editions. They sometimes have instruction manuals, sometimes they don't, and sometimes you have to actually go online and check out the instruction manual. But over those couple of years, I've realized I appreciate whenever. Never anything when it comes to anything physical actually takes time to print out an instruction manual. Sure, the instruction manual might be crappy. I doubt this will be crappy. But you know, you know I just appreciate it whenever I do get do get a physical copy of a game and it comes with a physical instruction manual. If it's if I'm getting a digital copy of a game, then I'm fine if it comes with a digital instruction manual. All right, it's fitting with the platform. But if I'm getting something physical. School, then it better come with it with a with a physical instruction manual, with the exception of a downloadable code, like when I got Sonic Mania, and yeah, you know, and it, all it came was that just the code in order to get the game and other bonuses that came with that code. So, with that said, said as as I purposely have the camera staring at the cleavage, which at the peach beach splash, um. Yeah, I I love instruction manuals. It, it, out of all the non-collectors based things, the instruction manuals is like right up there with like musical soundtracks, the occasional Blu-ray, and the still book case. Uh, figurines are kind of a, kind of in the low tier tier, but I do appreciate whenever I do get a figurine, and usually it it makes the price of the collector's edition all that worth it, in my opinion. And so, with that, moving away from it, that we have the downloadable content, which comes with the soaking wet high school uniform set as the camera gets into focus, and then we have some colorful bikinis, these, uh, the pet card, card, ah, oh, so cute, cute, I wonder, I wonder who, I uh, wonder where the eyeliner is for, and of course the special weapon for the rural bazooka, yeah. And of course, special set skill cards, which will help out greatly in this game that's right and for mature. Yeah. Codes on top, tells you how to get the code, you know how it is. But, that's not all. As you can, as you'll see, the, this is in fact a double sided. So if you get the regular physical copy, you get a dual sided thing. And you know damn well I'm gonna switch the fuck out of this. And move the fact that yes, this is in fact an array game, but you don't know that. Well, now you know, but still, you know. And there you have it. Kind of. This took way longer than I need to in order to set this up. But so anyway, this has been the unboxing of Shane Ray Kagura Peach Beast Splash No Shirt, No Shoes, All Service Edition. Now, was it worth paying $70 for something like this? This. From a buyer's perspective, fuck yes, yes. It just the, the art book alone is is like is like up there. But on top of the opening animations from all the way back from back from when Burst came out, shit, that is amazing. Saying for me, that's that's awesome. And also with the also with a soundtrack with with. Over 70 songs, I guess? Like, 74? That's... Four? To me, that's that's just amazing. And then add on to what was already initially was going to be there, assuming if you get the physical version, the dual, the dual-sided, uh, the dual-sided PS4 cover, or the instruction manual, I know, you know, I know, and that's just not even going into the, going to the DLC aspect of it, of it. That to me, that's already been worth it. it and I know Del Wall, I'm gonna be playing this like as if I'm, as if I'm playing, playing fucking uh, Splatoon with my. You know what? No, I'm, I'm not even gonna go with it. But yeah, this is like sexy Splatoon. See, that's what I'm saying. But from just someone who's who's like, who's like oh, I want to check this out. Uh, I heard about Shinra Kagura. Is this part of the is part of the main games? No, this is this is a side game. It's totally not a spoiler. It's like the cooking game I was thinking, I think it was for the Vita. Yeah, it's a it's it's in the same ballpark. So you don't you don't actively have to know 
know about the story of Sharon Cockroach in order to get into it. I feel, I feel, uh, you just need to. I don't think he even knows about the characters. You're, they're just like, here are these characters that are well defined, have the backstory. Some are sort of pretty sad. Some of them are like, oh wow, this is actually pretty interesting. I can see why you're fighting against this other group of or girls and shit, and shit. You know, I did. But here it's like, you know what? We're gonna just throw them, throw them on the beach, have some squirt guns, and just just fuck everything up, and you, you, it's gonna be a blast. Plus, it's pretty interesting that this is a rated M for mature game that has that's just rated M for fantasy violence. It's it's very rare that you get something that literally just says fantasy violence other than just straight up violence. But then again, probably there's gonna be a lot of a lot of fucks being, where a lot of shits being spewed out. So so if you're if you got into Shaman Kagura through Burst or through Essentials and you're going into Peach Bee Splash, you're like, oh shit, why are they why are they using all this foul fucking language? I was not aware. Said the game with saying where the fan service is the least reason you're going to be playing the games. Because their gameplay is fucking solid, like straight up. Just saying. Damn. But I, I, I can understand if you don't want to get it. Um, it, there isn't. It's it's what you would normally get from a collector's edition, which is usually like an art book, book soundtrack, track, uh dragon some DLC involved with like the biggest outlier will be like the we like the disc of opening animations animations or just even just even just DVD or even blu-ray disc included in there so with that said if it if it's something that would be interesting you, you could uh, uh, you should totally get it um, get it while you can there's yeah yeah if you really want to play something that's similar to Splatoon kind of and you know, uh, then maybe this will be the thing. Uh, I can only assume so because it feels like it's sexy platoon. So I'm gonna keep saying this is sexy platoon. So with that said, this is Binky Brosis with a unboxing that you normally wouldn't see. But, uh, you normally wouldn't see from me, but uh, since apparently I've been doing unboxings for the past few years, uh, why stop now? So, um, this should be only one or two blooper reels of sorts. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope to see you again in another future video. Will it be another unboxing? If there is, it won't be until freaking November, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'll probably come back and, and I, I want to try to do something different. Uh, probably in, in October. Over, uh, probably November. Uh, I have to check to see if I can edit through it. So, with that said, this has been Hubrosis. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and it's very unconventional means to not spoil anything from the Shaving Kagura outside of outside of fan service uh, of a of a deep lore story uh, hidden by fan service and boobs. Yes, I did say fan service and boobs and not just say straight up fan service. So yeah. Uh roll the end credits and go straight to the boobers. Alright. Bye. At this rate, this will be probably the shortest one by it, but I fucking cheat myself again. So, that said, it's said, now we go through here to the Haichibo pack. You know what? You know what? Let's actually check the back for a second. Dude. That, this is the part where we cut to the next thing. Yeah. Other, um, yeah. Also, uh, just as a personal thing, that just fell on purpose. Uh, we'll just focus on this now. Now, yeah, North of us. Um, <laughs> good. And now I can finally play a game that will fill all of my. <laughs> 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 oh.
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fucking up the script so hard. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, can we just skip to where I, I open the shit up, uh, okay? So, um, um, yeah, sorry, sorry for, sorry, just, just skip ahead. Remember I, remember I jinxed myself saying this, this unboxing was gonna be short? Let's jump cut to the end, shall we?